Something strange just happened to the interstellar visitor passing through our solar system right now. Four weeks ago, when astronomers last looked at 3i Atlas through telescopes in Chile, it glowed red. Today, new images from Hawaii show something completely different. The comet is glowing green. This isn't just a pretty color change. It's telling us the chemistry of this visitor from another star system is actively evolving as we watch. Before we go further, I'm genuinely curious where are you watching this video? Let me know in the comments. I love seeing how far these discoveries travel. Now, let's talk about what Gemini North just discovered. On the 26th of November, 2025, the Gemini North Telescope at Mauna Kea in Hawaii captured fresh images of 3i Atlas. The timing was perfect. The comet had just emerged from behind the sun after its closest approach on October 29th. And when scientists looked at the new data, they saw something they weren't entirely expecting. The comet's coma, that fuzzy cloud of gas and dust surrounding its nucleus, was glowing with a faint greenish hue, not the deep red they'd seen before. The images were taken using the Gemini Multi-Object Spectrograph, an instrument that can capture light through multiple color filters. The team combined exposures through blue, green, orange, and red filters to create the full picture. Dr. Bryce Bolin from Eureka Scientific led the observation. This wasn't a classified military project or a closed door research session. It was part of something called Shadow the Scientists, a public outreach program where students and the general public get to watch astronomers work in real time on world-class telescopes. Think about that for a second. Regular people sitting at home or in classrooms, watching scientists capture images of an object that traveled here from another star system. We're living in an incredible time but here's what makes this color change scientifically important. Back in late August and early September, when 3i Atlas was still approaching the sun, Gemini South in Chile captured images showing a distinctly red glow around the comet. Red suggests one type of chemistry, dust particles reflecting sunlight, possibly organic compounds, materials that have been cold and dormant for potentially billions of years. But now, post-perihelion, after the comet swung around the sun and experienced intense solar heating, the color has shifted to green. Green light in comets comes from a very specific source, diatomic carbon, written as C2. This is a molecule made of two carbon atoms bonded together. When sunlight hits these C2 molecules, they get energized. And when they release that energy, they emit light at green wavelengths. It's the same process that makes certain other comets appear green when they get close to the sun. You might have heard of Comet 12P, Pons Brooks last year. They called it the Mother of Dragons Comet. It also showed a green glow when it became active. So the green color itself isn't alien or mysterious. It's chemistry. But what makes 3i Atlas fascinating is that we're watching the chemical composition of its coma change in real time as the comet heats up and releases different gases. The shift from red to green tells us that the molecular composition of the gas plume around 3i Atlas has changed. Before perihelion, the comet was releasing one set of materials. After passing close to the sun and being baked by solar radiation, it's now releasing different materials, or at least different proportions of materials. This happens because comets aren't uniform blocks of ice. They're more like layered structures. The outer layers contain certain ices and compounds. As those vaporize and blow away, deeper layers get exposed. Those deeper layers might have different chemistry. The sun's heat doesn't just warm the surface. It takes time for that heat to work its way through the interior of the comet. This creates what scientists call a thermal lag. Some comets have a delayed reaction. They might appear calm near the sun, then suddenly have an outburst weeks later when internal heat finally reaches a pocket of volatile material. That's one of the big unknowns right now with 3i Atlas. Will it stay calm as it moves away from the sun and cools down, or will we see more changes? Here's why scientists are paying such close attention to every detail of 3i Atlas. This comet didn't form in our solar system. It formed somewhere else, around a different star, possibly billions of years ago. It's been traveling through the cold vacuum of interstellar space, carrying a frozen record of the chemistry from that distant system. When we study comets from our own solar system, we're learning about our own neighborhood. When we study an interstellar comet, we're getting a direct sample from another planetary system delivered right into our observation range. The chemical differences matter. The gas is being released. 
the dust composition, the ratios of different molecules, all of these tell us about the conditions where three I atlas formed. Was that star system similar to ours or radically different? Were the temperatures colder? Was there more carbon, more water, different organic chemistry? These aren't just academic questions. They help us understand how common our type of planetary system is in the galaxy. They help us understand the diversity of worlds out there. Gemini North isn't done observing. The telescope will continue monitoring 3i Atlas as it moves away from the sun and out of the inner solar system. Scientists want to track how the gas composition changes. Will the green glow persist? Will it fade? Will new colors appear? They're also watching for potential outbursts. Many comets experience sudden releases of gas and dust triggered by internal heating or structural changes. If 3i Atlas has an outburst, Gemini will be there to capture it. The comet is currently passing through the constellation Virgo. After its closest approach to Earth on December 19, it will continue moving through Leo and then head outward past the asteroid belt. By spring 2026, it will cross Jupiter's orbit. And then, slowly but surely, it will leave our solar system forever. This is a limited time opportunity. Once 3i Atlas is gone, we won't see it again, ever. That's why observatories around the world are coordinating to study it from every possible angle while they still can. The green glow discovery is just one piece of a much larger scientific campaign. While Gemini watches in visible light, other telescopes are studying 3i Atlas in wavelengths we can't see with our eyes. X-ray telescopes are detecting how the comet's gases interact with the solar wind. Infrared telescopes are measuring temperatures and identifying specific molecules. Radio telescopes are tracking the comet's movement with extreme precision. It's a coordinated effort involving NASA, ESA, JAXA, and observatories across multiple continents. Mars orbiters captured close-up views. The Hubble Space Telescope provided high-resolution images. James Webb studied the comet's composition in detail. And in the middle of all this cutting-edge science, programs like Shadow the Scientist are bringing the public along for the ride. Students watching real-time observations, amateur astronomers sharing data, people learning how science actually works. That openness matters. Science isn't locked away in secret labs. It's happening out in the open with real people making real discoveries about our universe. So here's where we are. 3i Atlas, a visitor from another star system, is actively changing its chemistry as we watch. The Gemini North Telescope caught it glowing green from diatomic carbon emissions. The shift from red to green tells us the comet's coma composition has evolved since its solar encounter. We don't know exactly what will happen next. The comet might stay calm. It might have delayed outbursts. The green glow might persist or fade as new gases take over. What we do know is that scientists are watching closely, tracking every change, gathering data that will help us understand not just this comet, but planetary systems across the galaxy. December 19th is coming fast. That's when 3i Atlas makes its closest approach to Earth. It will still be far away, about 270 million kilometers, but it's our best viewing opportunity. If you found this update valuable, I'd appreciate hearing your thoughts in the comments. What aspect of this discovery interests you most? The chemistry? The color change? The fact that we're studying material from another star system? And again, let me know where you're watching from. I love seeing the global reach of these videos. Thanks for being here. I'll keep you updated as more discoveries come in.